Uh, Kiki said, I'm quite ignorant in Middle East politics. What is the reason Muslim countries don't want the Palestinians there? I love your videos together. Because they often, because they, they didn't have very nice experiences with them. Uh, political outrage, uh, entitlement, refugee status, and so on. Different reasons. Too many yeah. different reasons. Yeah, you have, I mean, again, I'm sure they're, matter of fact, no, I know. They're, per they're perfectly nice uh, Palestinian people. Because I've met, I've met some of the Christians from there. Um, and I'm assuming there are, there are also Muslims there who are totally normal and just want to live normal lives and so on. But you kind of don't know what you're getting. If you said, hey, I'm going to take in uh, 20,000 Palestinian refugees, some of these, a lot of these people were raised on, what was that, Palestinian children's television that you have to wage jihad to get your way on anything? What happens when they disagree with your government? What happens when they disagree with you over something? What happens? You do, you, you, a lot of countries are like, eh, we know how these guys are raised. We know a lot of what they believe. We know a lot of what they support. A lot of these people are raised to be absolutely obsessed with terrorism as the way to get anything you, you want in life. And no, we don't want them here. It's also um, that um, the collectively, if they take in Palestinians, um, they would. They will have to take them in with a refugee status, which gives them extra obligations and responsibilities and all kinds of different things. And um, honestly, it's not part of the culture <laughs> and the, of the Arab culture to uh, want to deal with that, and they don't want to deal with it. They would rather want to just shove them into this other place and yeah. fight and let them fight for their freedom. That's it. Yeah. This, uh, this, Hey, there's this place over here. Well, these young people are raised to be obsessed with terrorism. Uh, let's have as let's bring in as many people as we can. Like that. that's a Western thing. Yeah. It's quite stupid. Messianic apostate Gaza was Egyptian territory between 1948 and 1967. Why doesn't Egypt not reincorporate Gaza as part of its territory? It would solve a lot of issues. <laughs> You know that Israel actually um, had negotiations with Egypt to um, to to <laughs> take control over Gaza again after it was taken from Egypt, and Egypt didn't accept it. Egypt didn't want it, and you there don't want responsibility for that place. Yeah. You don't. You definitely don't want to make it part of your country because then you just got these guys as part of your population. Yeah, and guess what? There's a guys. There's a reason Muslim countries don't want to take in. These guys, there's a reason they understand something. The 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 given reason is, of course, that um, they don't want to be in charge of Gaza because they want Gaza. They want the Palestine to become a country. But um, do they really prefer it to be under Israeli rule than uh, just taking it over and having it under Arab rule? It's quite obvious that Egypt doesn't want to deal with it because they had nothing but bad experiences with Gaza, nothing but bad experiences with the Palestinian population. They were their soldiers were killed because of uh, misbehavior of the Palestinian groups and all that. Never going to happen.